Hi, I'm Alvacore Senior VP and GM Dana Corey. Alvacore is a leader in creating interactive solutions that bring people together easily, fostering better communication, improving team engagement, and productivity. In this video, Alvacore's Brian Kraskadden will take you through a full demonstration and explanation of Alvacore's WCD product, which, and we're very proud, is the first Windows Collaboration Display WCD certified for Microsoft Teams and Azure, and is designed to enhance collaboration and accelerate teamwork. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody and welcome to the Avacore training for our team certified Windows collaboration display. We are now the first and only WCD certified for Teams. A couple things I'd like to talk about features of this product. Um, a lot of type has been uh, talked about lately about the uh, type C cable. This is a really cool feature. Um, it enables 4K video, USB, Ethernet, and power all to be carried over a single cable. Something else we've got in here is built-in video and audio, conference quality video and audio for this, again, that is team certified. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more later about the team certification and what that actually means. We also have Azure certification. And what this does is it allows us to send the sensor information that's collected by the WCD up to Azure and Workspace Intelligence is going to take that and actually create information that facilities managers uh, can take a look at and, and be able to have some more um, uh, knowledge about what's going on in the rooms, number of, of rooms being utilized, when they're being utilized, temperature, things like that. Um, also with this, we've got a 4K uh, resolution screen with optical bonding on it. And what that means is that we've got a nice solid finish uh, on that. And then our buttons in the front, one of the cool features of this is we actually have a Windows button that I can push and it'll pop into the Windows environment. Okay, so uh, we, we talk about the simplistic approach of this. The only two things you need to hook this up is power and ethernet. Then you're set. Um, we've got a presence sensor in here, so when you walk into the room, the monitor wakes up. When you leave the room, you can set it to turn off after a certain period of time. I talked about that single cable connectivity. This really simplifies things because now you can get down to just a single cable to connect uh, a PC to it. Smart switching. When somebody decides to bring their own laptop into the room and they want to connect, smart switching allows us to switch to that device and when they're done we can switch back to the previous devices. All very uh, smooth and seamless. The natural writing experience with this. Something that we have um, really taken a lot of time and energy is our ability to have a passive pen. So this is not an active pen, this is a passive pen. Um, where one side of the pen has got very smooth and accurate writing, the other side of the pen acts as an eraser. And the last thing is the team certification. So we want this product to be um, really a great accessory for your Microsoft Teams rooms. So if you have an MTR, you're looking to get an MTR, this is the perfect accessory for that. Okay. Um, just kind of going around the horn here, we talked about um, the sensors that we have in here, IoT, um, the digital twins as sometimes it's called, the Azure, um, all of that. This is all built into this area here. Um, the 4K resolution with optical bonding, so we actually bond that glass right to the front of the LCD. There's no air gap, great off-axis viewing, and of course, extremely solid. Uh, the single cable, um, the ability to just connect and it pops right in and it connects over uh, the video and the audio automatically. Um, so when you're in Teams, you don't have to decide which camera should I select, which audio should I be selecting. Um, the, the stylus in the, uh, with the eraser, um, wish you guys could see this, but it's really comfortable um, and it, it's got the ability to just smoothly write, look how nice and smooth and fast that is, and then I want to turn that around and erase. So with Azure uh, built in, we now can send all that IoT data up to the cloud, and Workspace Intelligence can turn that data into information. Um, that's extremely powerful and something you're going to start to see more and more requests for out there. 
Um, and then the last thing, our front buttons in here, a lot going on with this. Um, right in the middle here, we have our Windows button, which takes you back to the Windows desktop. And then we've got uh, volume and mute buttons uh, for here that are also synced directly back to your UC. If you're running Teams, it'll run those buttons um, and those functions within Teams. And then we've got the buttons down here, and it's actually a lot going on here. So we've got this Windows uh, button right here. Anytime you need to just get back to the Windows desktop, you push that. Um, we've got volume up and down and, and uh, speaker mute, which is synced back to Teams so that if you're in a Teams call and you want to utilize these, um, it all takes care of it. And then of course, sor source switching and then mic mute. All right, now let's talk about this, uh, this type C. Um, so a couple things to note in here is in the past, if you wanted to have both video and, and audio and touch control, you had to hook up two different cables. You had to hook up either a display port or an HDMI and then your USB. Um, you had to deal with the lengths of those cables and just it was a just a mess, right? So along comes type C. What we're able to do through that now is we combine basically four cables into one, okay? We've got, um, the, the type C signal that goes across there is DisplayPort. So we're sending DisplayPort 4K video at 60 Hertz. We've got USB, so the audio, the video, and the touch all controlled here. Um, then we've got power. So you bring your laptop into a room, let's say it's almost dead, you don't have your charger, you just plug that cable in. Not only are you gonna be presenting, you're going to be charging your laptop. And then we're gonna get wired ethernet. And this is cool because um, let's say a guest comes in and, and they can plug that cable in and then just jump onto the guest network. They don't have to worry about connecting to the Wi-Fi or anything. Um, so it is driverless, so we don't have to worry about um, preloading any drivers or anything like that. It just plug it in and it works. But then one thing just to keep in mind, so um, not all cables are created equal. Type C is a little confusing in that sense um, that the cable may look like it's the same as what we ship with the product, um, but it may not work. So use the, the cable that comes with it, use a certified cable, um, because not all cables are created equal. Okay, now let's talk about the connectivity on the WCD. So one of the first things that you would notice in here is we've actually added a power out port um, on the back so that you can plug in things like, let's say you have a backpack PC that you wanna put onto this, you can then connect that right onto the unit. You don't have to run a separate cable uh, power cord down to the wall. Um, all right, kind of starting at the bottom here, you, we've got our control section in here. Um, so RS-232 control plus ethernet in and out. Again, the out is, is, uh, is a nice feature because you can then come ethernet out of the wall to the display and then from the display, let's say to that backpack PC. Um, the first input is that type C. Um, that we've talked so much about. Um, and then you've got uh, your, your USB inputs in here. So we've got three type B inputs that are each married up with another input over here, um, whether that be the display port or one of the two HDMIs in there. And then um, finally down here in this section, we have the audio and the IR in. So if you wanna put an IR blaster in here, we give you that ability. Um, audio out, um, as well as SPDIF. All right, as I mentioned that backpack PC, we've um, made it pretty simple to put a backpack PC on here. So I'll just use the example of a Lenovo Tiny. Um, so we've got a bracket, an adapter bracket, and then you take that Lenovo Tiny um, mounting cage, and bolt that right to the back of that, take your power cord, plug it into the back of the unit, and then of course um, you can run ethernet to here and then your video or audio cable uh, in there. All right, now let's get into what does the team certification do for the product? What does it mean? Um, kind of some of what are the parameters? So um, we've, we've, the team certification itself has got a whole lot of different categories that you can be in. If you go onto the, the Teams Devices website, you can see that you can sort by room size, um, anything from, um, uh, like your car, uh, all the way up to a huge auditorium. Um, and every device that goes through the certification, you select one of those areas that you want to be um, certified for. So we are certified for what is called focus rooms. 
and there's parameters around that. So um, the definition of a focus room is up to five people. And so this is a room not intended for 20 people that only five are using. This is really intended for a room that is built around about five people. Um, the, the other thing is, is that how far away people can be from the display is how the, the microphones are tuned. So uh, the, uh, the focus room says that the person furthest away from the display is about seven and a half feet, um, about 2.3 meters in that. That's optimal. The further away you get, the, either the louder they're going to have to talk or they may start to trail off a little bit. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at putting this into a room. So things that would make this exceed that environment. Um, rooms that are, that are designed to accommodate more than five people starts to get larger. Um, that's not the optimal uh, positioning for this product. Poor acoustic. So you may have a room that's the right size, but it's glass on three sides. It's got a tile floor. It's got a, uh, you know, a really hard tabletop that's in it. So a lot of acoustically reflective surfaces. We want to try to avoid those. Um, rooms that are open. So you may have a room that's small, but it's open out to a larger area and there's a lot of background noise. It's that coffee shop noise that, you know, that we try to, um, try to, to eliminate. Um, so that people that are on the other end don't get a lot of distraction there. And then rooms that have a high noise floor, such as um, air conditioning or maybe a projector that's running and a lot of fan noise in there. So these are all things that's just good hygiene when you're going out and specking a room um, uh, for a, uh, any type of audio system. Okay. So what's the difference between a device that is team certified and one that's not? We get this question a lot. And, and really it comes down to um, the, the speaker phone, so the mic and the speakers um, work together as a speaker phone, they're certified as a speaker phone, um, and the camera are tuned to meet the requirements that Microsoft has set forward for the team's um, environment, for the team's certification. So that's, that's real key. Does it mean that it's better or worse than something else that's out there? What, is, what if you have got you know, a, another UC system? It, it, it's all going to work fine. It just means that Microsoft has done, frankly, an awful lot of work over a lot of years to come up with a specification that says, if you meet this, then you're going to give the best experience uh, that's out there. Um, and so um, that's first and foremost. The second thing is, is that these devices are entered into a database and it allows um, the processing that goes on, the, the noise cancellation and background suppression and double talk and all the things that, that we do in, in our uh, digital signal processing, um, that's all done locally as opposed to in the cloud um, or a combination of it of, of those which is called cascade mode. And so they'll, they have the ability then to recognize that we're a certified device turn off the cloud processing and just leave local processing, which should give you the best uh, overall audio experience. And, um, and then the last thing is, is it allows you to be put onto the Microsoft Teams devices store, and that's a good way for customers to go in and, and look and, and kind of compile things that, that maybe they want to put into a room um, ahead of time um, and then be able to say, hey, I've looked at these devices, they're all Teams devices, we know they'll all work together. All right, so the team certification, um, <laughs> those of you that are interested, there's, there's documentation out there. If you really want to go and read it, it's, it's, uh, it's quite lengthy and quite difficult to get through, but um, there, there is a tremendous amount of, of testing that gets done to make sure that, that all of those parameters are met. Okay. Um, the team certification program. So as I mentioned, there's, there's categories that these are, are put into. Headset, speaker phones, desk phone, things like that. Um, the WCD will be put into an accessories area so that it can be selected along with other devices and, and partnered up with those. All right, why does it matter? Um, well, for end users, it's, it's really it's a way to ensure that you're going to have a reliable and a repeatable meeting experience. You go from one room to another, it doesn't vary so widely. If one is, is team certified and it works great and you go to another one that's not, maybe they don't have a, a, as good of experience. So for end users, it just it's that safe and secure. I know when I walk in that I'm going to have a good experience. IT managers, 
same but but looking at it from a different way. They don't want to be getting the support calls. They want to be able to know that when they pick these devices out and put them into these rooms that they're going to get instantly up and running a great experience and that it's going to last for a while. And then for the resellers, um, the, you know, I keep using the word reliable and repeatable, but that's really what we're getting into is if you pick the, the right components for the right room size, everybody in this whole value chain is going to be happy with that and then it's a nice repeatable um, sale that we can get going here. All right, so let me now talk about the two scenarios that are going to be most common with the WCD. Um, the first is going to be the MTR, the Microsoft Teams room, dedicated to a walk-in and uh, start a Teams um, session. The other is going to be the, the bring your own meeting, the BYOM. Um, obviously, you can be running a Teams meeting and then someone can bring their laptop in, plug in, and you can switch over to that. That's part of the smart switching. Okay, so part of the, um, the simplicity of pairing up a certified display with the Microsoft Teams room is uh, really you have two cables that are going to connect up to this and then everything else just works together. So um, you have all your different solutions in here that then need a display. Um, and with this, in a single display, you obviously you have all your annotation, you know, the touch screen itself, the camera, um, the microphone array, the speakers, the controls, um, all in one. Okay, and then if you have your your BYOM, bring your own meeting. Um, also simple if you're using Type C, just single cable um, between that and the display, or if you do. Um, need to or want to use HDMI or DisplayPort and a USB uh, connection with that, that's easy enough to do. So thanks for uh, sticking around and listening to the training today on the Avacore Team Certified Windows Collaboration Display. Thanks.